everyone, it is Wednesday, so that means that it's demo day here at the Kitchen at 79. And tonight I'm gonna to show you one of Pamper Chef's newest products, and it is our quick cooker pressure cooker. Now, I know a lot of you are shaking your heads going, oh my gosh, Pamper Chef came out with an Instant Pot, and you know what, you're right. And I actually got this pot about six weeks ago. And I haven't talked about it or shown it to you yet because I wasn't really familiar with it and I wasn't quite sure what to think about it. I mean, I knew Pamper Chef made one. They were gonna knock it out of the park and make it really great and um, give it all the bells and whistles that everybody would need. Um, they do their research so they know um, what people want in their kitchen. So I'm gonna show you a real quick recipe tonight. I'm gonna show you how to um, it pressurizes, it's actually already come to pressure and in three minutes we're gonna be able to um, release the pressure and then add in the rest. And what I'm making for you tonight is um, the Instant Pot or Quick Cooker Instant Ranch Chicken Pasta and I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon. I will put a link to the recipe that I used um, in the comments, or actually I'll put it actually in this post after I'm done. But I'm also gonna add a couple things to it. I'm gonna add some red pepper and some green pepper just because I like the way that my food looks um, when it's pretty. And I think that this with the pasta and the chicken and the milk and the cream cheese and stuff, oh, I need to grab my cream cheese, um, that it just needs a little bit of color. So anyway, the Instant Pot or Pamper Chef's Quick Cooker. So what can I tell you about it? There are so many great features to this. Now, if you're on the bone broth um, train, which bone broth is so good for you, and if you make your own, um, you know that it can take about eight hours to make in a slow cooker. If you're not making your own, you're probably buying it. And I know there's a local place that sells a jar, like a mason jar, like a big mason jar of bone broth, and it's eight bucks. And it's so inexpensive to make your own. And it's so fast and when you make it in the quick cooker you can make it in an hour it's just it's incredible it makes things go so much faster if you go to starbucks those sous vide eggs that they sell five dollars a pop you can make them in here and you're going to be making them you're going to make six of them or seven of them for like five bucks so it's so much more economical it's so fast it's great you just throw everything in and you're done you just push it you know set the timer put it to pressure and you walk away and you come back and your dinner's finished or you might have to do a little bit of what I'm doing tonight and add um, some other ingredients but I'm gonna show you how quick this is but it's just absolutely fabulous and not only will it cook your food you can make soups stews chilies this pressure cooker does have a um, you can make yogurt just like in an instant pot but it also also has a proofing feature so you can actually proof your bread dough right in here bread dough pizza dough and then pop it right in the oven one of the accessories that you can get for it is this ceramic pot so look at how cool this is it has the cradle that you're gonna pop right down into the bottom of the stainless steel bowl and then this ceramic pot sits right on top of it but look at how cool this is we have Oh, we're done. Um, we have this little cradle and you can put your bread dough right in here and stick it in to proof. So in order to move on with dinner, I'm going to come back and talk about some of our other accessories in a second, but I'm going to release the pressure. So what's nice about this is you don't go anywhere near the pressure valve. You just press this button, give it a press and it releases the pressure. You don't have to worry about touching it with a wooden spoon or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of get some of these things out of the way because I'm going to take the lid off in a second and show that to you and um, mix in the rest of our ingredients and put the lid back on. It's going to be keeping it warm. <laughs> Steam technology is amazing, isn't it? Um, while you're watching this, if any of the comments that come across get in the way, just go ahead and put your finger on the comments and swipe right and that will get rid of them for you. So, okay, so we're pressurizing or depressurizing, I guess. Um, another thing you can make in this pressure cooker that's really cool, I made this when we went to a dinner party last month, um, you can make cheesecake in it. And one of the accessories you can buy is this little spring form pan, and I made a Snickers cheesecake with an Oreo crust, and then I made a fresh strawberry cheesecake with a graham cracker crust. And so it's just, it's super neat. You can make it right in here, and then you just put it in your refrigerator to chill. It's just, it's so awesome and so easy. Um, now, there are a couple different ways that you can get this if you want it. If you've been wanting to know more about um, the pressure cooker and how it works, um, and you're local to me, I'm gonna be doing a workshop in October, so send me a private message or just a comment here and I will get you in on that. 
uh, but we're almost depressurized, almost done. Just got a little bit, got to, you know, everybody has to let off steam once in a while, and so that's what it's doing. So we're gonna mix in um, our cream cheese, some bacon, some red and green pepper, and then cheddar cheese, and then we're gonna put the lid back on and let it warm. So what's nice about this is once it's depressurized or once it's done, it is going to do a count up feature. This is on the keep warm feature, so it automatically clicks into that. So, okay, so our pressure is done. I'm just gonna press the button to hit the valve. Take it off. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, I got a little moisture here, so I'm just gonna wipe that down. Okay, I'm gonna give this a stir. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I didn't know that you could cook pasta in here. So, okay, so what we have that we're going to um, stir in is just a little bit of cream cheese. And then we're gonna stir in some bacon. Oh, my cameraman's gonna help me and show what we're doing here. Okay, so you can see that, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, so we've got our bacon, our cream cheese, we have our green pepper. That's excellent, Bill, thank you very much. Bill's gonna be having this for dinner, so he's very excited about um, being helping me with the camera work. Okay, so we're just gonna pour this in and give it a quick mix, a quick stir. And then what I'm gonna do is put the lid back on it and watch the count up feature and just let it go for about eight minutes and this is gonna be done. So I love this, this is just, this is fantastic. Okay, oh, it's already getting nice and ooey gooey. Okay, so we're just gonna put the lid back on it. Oops, hold on. Technical difficulties. It sounds fun. All right, hang on. I'm doing something wrong, obviously. I'm still getting to learn this. So, and I'm not gonna feel bad about this because when Martha Stewart demonstrated her new quick cooker instant pot on the Today Show, she couldn't get her lid on either. So, all right. <laughs> what am I doing wrong, Bill? Do you wanna see it? Oh, I'm backwards, hang on. Oh, no, I'm not. Hold on. All right, hang on. I got my inner pot is in place. This works really well, I promise you. Bill's gonna work on that for me. Um, I'm hoping you're entertained by this. Anyway, it works fabulous when you can um, get it to work. Oh, look at that. All I needed was a man's touch, okay? Excellent, thank you very much, Bill. Okay, so we're at three minutes. We're gonna count up to about eight. I'm gonna set my timer um, on the stove because I know I can get talking and then I'm gonna get totally distracted and forget about this. So what we did is we added the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, we added the red pepper and the green pepper and then my knight in shining armor came to my rescue and um, fixed it for me. So I will mention that every other time I've used this, I have been able to do that myself. So um, while I do love having him present to help me, um, it's not necessary to have somebody in your kitchen helping you, um, but it's always nice to have the company. So hopefully you are in love with this product and would like to have it in your own kitchen. And I'm gonna tell you a couple ways that you can do that. So in October, I am scheduling cooking parties where I'm going to be featuring this. And I'm also doing virtual parties where again, I'm going to be featuring this and doing some different recipes so you can see all the different options that you can do um, with it and use it for. Um, but you can get this. Um, you can buy it full price if you want to, just go ahead and get it. But when you host a party, you can get it 60% off in October and I'm scheduling October shows right now. Um, you'll be able to get it for $96. You're, you know, if you have a family of four and you go out to eat four times, um, that's more than gonna pay for it. So if you cook at home four times with this, you've actually, it's paid for itself. So love the quick cooker. You're definitely gonna wanna have it in your kitchen. So when you host in October, you can get it for $96. But what about getting it for free? Would you be interested in getting it for free? I thought maybe you would. So we have something really unique going on with Pampered Chef right now. We've never done this before. And so um, I just wanna tell you a little bit more about it. If you've ever been curious about having a Pampered Chef business, this is a great time to give it a try. Just because we have the opportunity for you to start for $29. $29, you can't go to Target and get out of there with less than $29. Uh, maybe Rite Aid, but usually when you go to Target, it's a $100 trip and you only go for toilet paper. Trust me, I've been there, I know. Anyway, so for $29, you can get what's called our Quick Start Kit. And what that is, is it's just the paperwork portion of the new consultant kit, 
but you can collect orders. If you already have a lot of products, you can demo those. But if you have one of these, which I'm pretty sure almost everybody does, and most of you that are watching this are probably watching this video on one of these, you can run a Pamper Chef business. We have an amazing app that is designed just for consultants. It actually won a technology award two years ago. Consultants run their businesses single-handedly from their smartphone or a tablet. You can still use a computer if you want to. Um, but one of the great things is that when you start a Pamper Chef business this month and get your quick kit for $29, and um, after 30 days when you hit a certain goal, they're gonna send you this quick cooker free. And it's just something to give it a try, see if you like it. And you know, if you think about it, it's a really great return on your investment. If it's something you've been thinking about, 30 bucks, give it a try. You have nothing to lose. You've got great training, great support. Um, our website has amazing training 24 seven. You can do it in your jammies if you want. You can do it while you're sitting having a glass of wine if you want. Um, but the training is there. And just to let you know what you're gonna get back, our consultants on average earn about $100 per party. So it's the end of September and Christmas is coming up in what, like 12 weeks, 13 weeks. If you did one party a week between now and Christmas, that's $1,300 in cash that you're gonna have for a $29 investment. So it's kind of like a no-brainer. So if you want some more information about our quick kit, you can um, post in the comments or you can message me um, and I'm happy to answer them for you. So um, let's see, what else did I wanna say? Oh, one other thing that's really great about this quick cooker. My mother, if you guys know my mom, she is the queen of making the best deviled eggs. She is just, it's incredible how she does it. I can't make good deviled eggs. Well, I make good deviled eggs, but they're never like hers. And one of the things I always struggle with is when I make my hard boiled eggs and I try and get the shell off, it's like all of a sudden they're all pitted, the shell's not coming off easily. You do them in here, six minutes, done, put them in ice bath, the shells peel off. It is incredible. I feel like one of those videos that you see on YouTube or on Instagram where the shell is just popping off. I didn't realize that doing it in the quick cooker was going to be the answer for me, but it is. So um, again, if you're interested in getting this in your kitchen, let me know and I will be happy to help you get it in there any way I can. So, okay, I just have about three and a half minutes, so I'm gonna let you know what else we have going on that's coming up. So, this Friday is a special edition of Cocktails with Colleen. It is actually my father's birthday, and so in honor of my dad, since he's no longer with us, we are going to be making the cocktail that he always ordered when we would go out, and that was a vodka Gibson. So, tune in here at 5.15 this coming Friday, and I will be back making um, the Gibson in his honor. And I don't think I've ever had it, so it will be fun to give it a try. So what else do we have going on with Pampered Chef? So if this is something that is just not tripping your trigger, I totally get it. You might have an Instant Pot. You don't need another one. Understand that too. We have some other things that are great for our October hosts. So if you've been eyeing the Rock Crock, either the Everyday Pan or the Dutch Oven that has the slow cooker stand with it, you can also take your pick of one of those at 60% off. Or if you saw my video last week on Demo Day where I did the egg roll in a bowl, I demonstrated the stainless, um, non-stick stainless skillet, our new one, the 12 inch pan, you can get that 60% off. And it's super easy when you have your friends over for a party, I bring all your recipe ingredients and I will um, do your invitations for you. So all you need the night of your parties is you just have some friends over for a good time and have some beverages. And if you want cocktails, we have a great new cocktail set that I've been demonstrating on Cocktails with Colleen. And it's just a lot of fun and just a chance to learn something new. Um, we have great themes coming up. So as always, we have our fajitas and margaritas that's really popular. We have our um, fajitas, margaritas. We have our wine, cheese, and chocolate. That's always super fun. And then as the holidays approach, I am going to be doing again my five appetizers in 15 minutes where we teach you how to make a great holiday spread in less than 20 minutes so you can have your friends over. In November, between um, the end of October and Thanksgiving, I will be doing Hide the Turkey Parties, where I teach you what to do with all of your turkey and Thanksgiving leftovers so you're not just eating turkey sandwiches all the time, so we'll have that. And um, anything else that you want, we have our fast family weeknight meals parties where we teach you how to make um, dinner and get it on the table really fast. We're using this 
quick cooker as well. Um, okay, we have just one minute left. I'm going to attempt to get the lid off, hopefully. If not, Bill is right here behind the camera, so he is going to be helping me just in case um, I have a little bit of a hiccup. But, you know, I'm confident that this puppy is going to come through for me and I won't have to worry about it. One thing that's really nice, too, is you kind of see me leaning on this. It's really great because this does not get hot. And so it's a great appliance to have. If you have little ones, you don't have to worry about them touching anything that's on the counter. And them burning themselves so I really like that feature so okay so I am going to stop my timer so it's not going to be beeping on us and now the big reveal this is why they don't do things live on television so when there's hiccups you don't see that everything's absolutely perfect so but this is real life so Okay, just stuck a little bit. All right, we are just going to give this a stir. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. And I'm gonna be plating it up in just a second so you can see this. Look at this, look at how good this looks. Bill is gonna be digging into this in just a second. So the longer that it sits, the um, creamier it's gonna get, but I'm actually just gonna dish this up because I have one of our little bowls right here. So I'm gonna dish this up and show you how I'm gonna garnish it. So, oh, look at that. I've got the stringy cheese coming down. Oh my gosh, this looks really good. Okay, so one thing that's fabulous about this is you do have your stainless steel inner pot. That pot is dishwasher safe, so absolutely perfect. This, if you haven't seen this, I love this. This is our herb mill. Now, if you can't see what I'm doing because the comments are in the way, just go ahead and swipe right and that will remove the comments. But this is the herb mill and I have some parsley in here. And so I'm just gonna put sprinkle some parsley over the top, give it a little shake because there's a ceramic ball in here that weighs down the herbs. So, okay, here we go. Look at that. All right, done. I have the beautiful little garnish on that and I'm gonna hand it off to Bill. Okay. Check back on this post. I'm going to refresh it. Bon so appetit, can... baby. <laughs> He's very excited about dinner. Can you tell? Um, <laughs> I am going to edit this post so I can put the recipe in the comments. If you have any questions about anything I showed you, please let me know. And as always, if you need any recipes or if you are watching my daily posts here on Slice, Dice, and Dish and you want me to post recipes for a certain product that you have, let me know what that is and I will do a day of recipes for you with that. We have a day of deep covered baker recipes coming up this week. Um, someone requested that, so I will be posting that for you. I've got some fun Halloween things that are gonna be coming up and some fall recipes as well. And of course, I'm going to be doing a feature on pumpkin because it's fall and everything pumpkin is happening right now. So whatever your requests are, let me know. And if you want, also follow me over on Instagram because I have some great posts going up over there. My Instagram handle is Sliced Dice Dish, just like it is here on Facebook. And whatever you guys need, let me know. I will be your resource and I will see you back here on Friday at 515 for Cocktails with Colleen when we make the vodka Gibson. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And I hope you have a great night and um, have some fun in your kitchen tonight and enjoy a meal with those that you love. See you soon. Bye.